Hi, I'm Jackie. And I'm just wondering, do you love to eat pasta? Would you love to be able to make yourself a beautiful dish like this? Not quite sure what to do or how to follow a recipe properly? Well, in this video, we're gonna learn how to cook this pasta. So come along with me, let's get cooking. Firstly, before I do anything in the kitchen, I'm going to get kitchen ready by putting on my apron, tying back my hair, and of course, washing my hands. The first thing I wanna do is read my recipe. I want to make sure I've got all the ingredients. I want to make sure I've got all the equipment that I need. And then I can start to follow the steps. So for this recipe, we need some pasta. We need some cheese. We need some bacon, an onion, and some cream. Now the equipment that I need in order to make this recipe is a grater. We need a chopping board with some tongs and a big knife. We need a fry pan with a saucepan and a lid. We need a colander to strain, and we need a little dish to put it in. Time to chop the onion, but I only want a small bit of onion, so I'm gonna cut some off. Remember, chopping means to cut into small pieces, and always be very careful using the knife. Now put the chopped onion in a little container and wipe down with a cloth the board and the knife. Now for the bacon. Don't you love bacon? I'm gonna use this whole pack. And remember, when we slice, it means that we cut them into thin strips. I'm now going to cut the strips in half. The bacon slices can then go into the container with the onion. Add a little bit of oil to the fry pan on the stove, and then, Add the bacon and the onion. Use your tongs or a wooden spoon to stir the onion and the bacon around the hot pan. Keep stirring the onion and the bacon in the pan until they are cooked. Remember, the pan is hot, so if you need to touch the pan, only touch the handle. Now we will add cream. Turn the heat down and stir the bacon and onion. Then pour the cream into the pan and stir again so the cream mixes with the bacon and onion. Let the cream heat through with the bacon and onion for a couple of minutes and then you can turn the stove off. To cook the pasta, I need to boil water. So I will fill the saucepan with water Place it on the stove, turn the heat to high, and put a lid on the saucepan. While I'm waiting for the water to boil, I'm going to take the pasta that I need and put it in a small bowl. I'm not going to use the whole packet of pasta, maybe just half. When the water is boiling, I'm going to very carefully add the pasta and give it a stir. Pasta will usually take around 15 to 20 minutes to cook. Check whether the pasta is cooked by putting some on a spoon, seeing if it's big and soft, then it should be ready to strain. Now the pasta is ready, we need to strain it. To do this, place your colander in the sink. Wear a kitchen glove to carry the hot saucepan of pasta over to the sink. Carefully pour the saucepan of water and pasta into the colander. You can then add the pasta back into the saucepan with the bacon and onion and mix it all around. Now we need to move the pasta into our baking dish. To do this, either use your tongs or a plastic spoon. 
Use the grater to carefully grate some cheese. Use as much cheese as you like. Then sprinkle that cheese on top of the pasta. Using your kitchen gloves, place the pasta in the oven under the grill until all the cheese has melted. Use your kitchen gloves to take the pasta out of the oven and now all that's left is to enjoy.